The Primus Apex system on the Pilatus PC12NG contains two multifunction displays. In the normal configuration, the lower MFD is the system's MFD. However, it can be displayed on either MFD using the MFD swap button. The following video contains a brief overview of the system's MFD. For more information about the various windows, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide. The system's MFD is divided into six windows and contains information about the various systems installed on the aircraft. The crew alerting system, or CAS window, displays messages to alert the crew about malfunctions or abnormal operating conditions. When a warning or caution message is first displayed, it is shown in reverse video until the master warning or caution acknowledgement button on the glare shield panel is pushed. Messages in the CAS window are organized by color. Red or warning messages are always displayed on top, followed by amber caution messages. Cyan messages are advisory messages. These messages do not require immediate action by the pilot. White messages are status messages. Refer to the AFM for more information about a CAS message. To the right of the CAS window is the Aircraft Configuration window. The Aircraft Configuration window displays the landing gear, flap position, and trim indications. The Fuel System window displays the fuel quantity per tank. It also displays the total fuel quantity, fuel flow, endurance, and fuel used amounts. The fuel used quantity can be reset by pushing the fuel reset bezel button. The fuel gauges will display a fuel imbalance in amber and will also indicate when a boost pump is operating. The environment window displays cabin pressurization and temperature indications. The landing field elevation is automatically set based on the FMS flight plan. To manually set a landing elevation, push the Destination Elevation button. The elevation can then be adjusted as necessary. The Low Cab mode will automatically adjust the cabin pressure to match the landing field elevation. The aircraft will then maintain this pressure as long as the maximum cabin differential pressure is not exceeded. The current cabin altitude, differential pressure, and the cabin climb rate are shown here. The cockpit and cabin temperature can be adjusted individually using the associated bezel buttons. The electrical window displays voltage and amperage information from the generators and batteries. The ice protection window indicates when associated ice protection systems are activated. The multifunction window contains numerous systems pages. When installed, the electronic checklist is displayed here by default. To access the other pages, push the Page button to access the System Configuration drop-down menu. The Sensors page provides the pilot with the status of the navigation sensors installed. There are various sub-pages. The highest levels contain summary information. The lower levels contain more sensor-specific information. The GPS sensor pages contain information for predictive RAIM. The RAIM information for the destination airport in the flight plan will be automatically displayed. You can look up another airport by entering the identifier and an ETA. The weather, lightning, and pause control pages provide configuration and setup information for the weather radar and TAWS systems. The avionics window is used to configure display options for the PFD and the flight control systems. For example, this is where you can change the altimeter settings from inches of mercury to hectopascals. The flight control systems tab is where you can change the format for the flight director command bars. The Custom Database tab is used to manage information saved to the custom database, such as pilot-entered waypoints and flight plans. 
The system configuration and data loading page is only available on the ground and is used to view systems and software information. The data load tab is used to update the various databases on the aircraft. For more information on data loading, refer to the videos on the Pilatus Connected Flight Deck or the Honeywell Pilot's Guide. For more information on the system's MFD, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.